Treatment of macular holes has now become a common procedure for vitreoretinal surgeons. Controversy remains as to the pathogenesis, but there is no doubt about the efficacy of surgical treatment in selected cases. A standard vitrectomy is carried out first, with separation of the posterior hyaloid. By definition, type 4 macular holes will already have a posterior vitreous detachment, but for type 2 and 3 holes, it is necessary to generate one, using the techniques described in an earlier chapter. Once the vitrectomy is complete, look for the presence of epiretinal tissue around the hole. If there is a visible membrane, this should be removed. In the absence of any visible abnormality, most surgeons would now remove the internal limiting membrane. 